Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Chetu Prashant. Today I would like to discuss about the topic uh, that is called fault equivalence, which is one of the simple topic uh, the subset VLSI testing in this world. Let's proceed. What is the main objective of using this uh, uh, technique fault equivalence? To reduce the number of faults in a circuit, generally we can apply this concept called fault equivalence. To reduce the fault, to reduce the number of faults means we can also reduce the number of test vectors per circuit. So, if you want to reduce the number of faults and if you can balls the number of test vectors uh, to test the particular circuit, so generally we can apply this concept called fault equivalence. Let me define the fault equivalence. Two faults F1 and F2 are equivalent. The fault tests uh, that detect F1. That means fault F1, which can also detect F2. Okay, so see here the fault equivalence uh, rules. So here we have seen different kinds of gates. So and uh, different kinds of faults like socket zero, socket one, socket zero, socket one, etc. So let me tell you. So all so any gate can detect uh, totally a six. False and uh, OR gate can detect uh, uh, six false and AND gate can detect six false and OR gate can detect six false, whereas NOT gate, not gate can detect only four false. So, how can I say this particular language? So, so for any Boolean uh, circuit, for any Boolean uh, gate circuit, we have the formula called. Uh, so, let me write the formula. So, we, we have the formula called uh, in order to find the a fault sites in a boolean circuit, a boolean gate circuit. Generally, we can use the formula called the primary inputs plus number of gates plus fan of branches. So, it's a standard formula in order to find out the fault sites in a boolean gate circuit. So, just apply this formula to this AND gate. So, it's a kind of an AND gate. So, what are the primary inputs for this AND gate? Two. And how many gates are available here? Only one gate. Is there any fan out branches? So fan out branches means like this. So it will be applied to here and here. So that means fan out branches will look like this. Is there any fan out branches in that gate? No. So it means it will be zero. That is totally three. So number of fault sites in the AND gate is three. Okay, so uh, if number of fault sites in AND gate is three means it can detect uh, Totally six faults. That is three into two. It can six faults can be detected by this AND gate. So I can represent these six faults uh, here. Second zero, second one. So it is first one, second one, it is third one, it is fourth one, it is fifth one, and it is sixth. By using this simple formula, we can detect the uh, so number of faults for a particular boolean gate circuit. Okay. So here AND gate can detect totally six faults. Here uh, stuck at zero at uh, input, uh, stuck at zero at input is equivalent to stuck at zero uh, at uh, output in AND gate. Okay. So similarly, uh, just the opposite to AND gate. So that is a uh, uh, stuck at zero uh, at input is equivalent to stuck at one. At output. Okay, so it's just uh, uh, an inverse. Similarly, or gate stuck at one at input is equivalent to stuck at one at output. So, nor gate, so it's just the reverse. Stuck at one at input is equivalent to stuck at zero at output. It's uh, uh, kind of uh, just a uh, uh, reverse case. So, not gate stuck at zero at input is. Uh, Equivalent to stuck at one at output and stuck at zero at output is equivalent to stuck at one at input. So it's a simple kind of uh, rules we have just to uh, uh, just remember these uh, rules. Okay. Uh, let me give a simple example. So it's a kind of a complex circuit which consists of totally uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six gates. It's kind of uh, let me give you an uh, example. So it's kind of for a complex circuit, which is totally I consists of six gates. So uh, let me apply the concept called fault equivalence in this particular circuit. So it's a simple example. 
So in this circuit, I would like to apply the concept called quality. So see here, uh, first of all, our main primary duty is to find out the, the number of faulty sites in a particular uh, circuit. So how you will find out the fault sites in a particular circuit by using the standard formula that is called number of primary inputs plus number of gates, number of gates and uh, plus fan out branches, fan out branches. So it's our standard formula for any logic circuit, for any circuit, we can just apply this formula and we can get uh, the number of uh, faulty sites. So number of uh, faulty sites in a particular circuit. So just apply this formula for the circuit. It's our primary responsibility so to calculate the faulty sites in a circuit. So what are the primary inputs? So primary inputs means so primary input 1, primary input 2, primary input 3, primary input 4. These are the primary inputs. So primary in total number of primary inputs is 4. And how many gates totally? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 gates. Plus how many fan out branches are there? So uh, see here, so these are called fan out branches. So it will be transferred to here and here. Okay, how many fan out branches are there in this particular circuit? So it is first, it is one fan out branch, it is second fan out branch, and it is the third fan out branch. So so this particular uh, fan out branch will detect uh, two fault sites. So this uh, particular fan out branch will detect two fault sites, and this particular fan out branch will detect two fault sites. That means uh, 2 plus 2 plus 2 or uh, 3 fan out branch. So if you just uh, add all these things 4 plus 6 10 uh, plus uh, 6 that is 16. So in this particular circuit the total number of faulty sites are 16. Total number of faulty sites are 16. So that uh, this particular circuit can detect 32 faults. 16 into 2, 32 faults can be detected by this circuit. 32 faults can be detected by this particular circuit. So, also here, if you just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so totally we can get 32 faults can be detected by this particular circuit. Okay, so uh, now totally we have 32 faults can detect this circuit. Now we can apply the concept called fault equals. So by just remembering the rules uh, of fault equivalence, by just remembering these rules, so we can apply this uh, fault equivalence concept to this uh, complex circuits having six gates. Okay, so just remember this circuit can detect 32 faults. Please remember this point. So if I can apply the concept of fault equivalence to this complex circuit, so all these uh, fonts in the green fonts are removed by equivalence concept. So, but, uh, so the green color, so all these faults can be removed if you apply the concept to call it a fault equivalence in a circuit. So how can we mean? So I, ha I had already uh, said uh, about the fault equivalence rules. So here AND gate, uh, in AND gate, so stuck at uh, 0 at input is equivalent to stuck at 0 at output. Similarly, uh, for, uh, for uh, R gate, stuck at 1 at input is equivalent to stuck at two, uh, 1 at output. So, like this, so it's simple gate, uh, simple circuit which consists of simple AND gate and R gates. Okay, if you apply this uh, fault equivalence rules, so AND gate stuck at 0 at input is equivalent to stuck at 0 at output. So, for R gate, uh, stuck at 1 at input is equivalent to stuck at 1 at the output. So that by using fault equivalence concept, we can re we can just uh, remove this all these uh, faults. Okay, so all these faults can be uh, removed by uh, applying the concept called fault equivalence. And fault equivalence means if we apply for these end and R gates, we can remove all these uh, faults. If you remove all these green color faults, uh, so total number of initially we can detect. So in this uh, circuit, we can detect totally. 32 faults, we can detect uh, 32 faults. 
So number of false uh, collapse into T equivalence. But after applying equivalence concept, 12 false, that means 12 false which are represented in green color are going to be removed. That means 32 minus at 12. So that is uh, at 20. So uh, after that, uh, after applying fault equivalence concept, number of faults to be detected after applying fault uh, equivalence concept is just 20. That means 32 faults can be reduced to 20 faults. So that the number of test vectors required is also gets reduced. Faults gets reduced means number of test vectors to, re to test a particular circuit is also can be reduced. So this is the advantage of using the concept called a fault equivalence. So 32 uh, faults will require more test vectors when compared to 22 faults. If you wanted to detect 20 faults, so as compared to this 32, it can require just uh, uh, less test vectors. So uh, this is the advantage of using fault equivalence concepts in the real set of things subject. If you want, you can find out the collapse ratio also. So the collapse ratio formula is uh, Number of faults detected after applying the fault equivalence concept to total number of faults can be detected uh, without applying uh, the fault equivalence concept. So after applying fault equivalence concept, how many faults are there in circuit? Just 20. So without applying for fault equivalence concept, total how many faults can be detected in the circuit? 32. 20 by 32 will give you 6, 0 0.625 which is called a collapse ratio. So in this way, we can reduce the number of test vectors and we can reduce the number of faults. Simple thing guys, so fault difference concept can reduce the number of faults. Number of faults can detected is uh, less means number of test vectors to test a particular circuit is also gets reduced. It's a simple concept. Thank you.